Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Ruth, and let's chat about home is where the bodies are. Beth Nicole Michael, in order of oldest to youngest, reunite at their childhood home in Wisconsin to sort out the estate and their parents' belongings. They are going to find out more than what they expected. If you are into thriller books and you are not a fan of too violent, too, too much murder, or um, too gory of scenes described, then maybe this book is for you. Some themes that the book dives into are um, sibling rivalry, sibling jealousy, and also the idea of success being relative. Um, what I mean by that is, you know, maybe one person does, defines success this way versus another person defines success as this. I do love the nostalgic feel of the cover, having a VHS tape uh, in the cover because it does play a part in the book, but also um, just appreciating the advance of technology and how far um, all of these gadgets has gone. So for those of you who don't know, a VHS tape is a way for you to record video and sound on, and then you can watch it later on on the TV. It's clunky. Um, so again, we just appreciate the advance of technology here. Some other things I liked about the book, the prologue, loved it. It was very um, eye-catching and um, made me feel like a certain way. So love the prologue, love the beginning of the book, caught my attention. I also love the way the author, how she writes about death. It just feels so like poetic throughout the story and what she like relates it to. So definitely appreciate that. I love also the sibling arguing and the interactions between the siblings because I think it's definitely a realistic reaction um, from the way the, the siblings like try to jab at each other or you kind of read their thoughts and what they're thinking about each other but don't want to say it. So definitely realistic uh, in that sense. You also feel um, and see the good and bad side of all the characters in the book here. I didn't really have a favorite character, so I just wanted to throw that out. So these are some things that I thought was missing from the book. Um, one, not enough murder scenes. Um, so a little spoiler there. Uh, felt like there could be more. I think they just focused more on like the family aspect of the story, which is a different way of telling a thriller story. So I get it, but that's something that I felt that was missing. Also, um, because you're reading from the perspective of the characters, I also feel like, at least to me, it was easy for me to figure out like who the person was. Um, and so just based by like the perspective you were reading, like I, I already kind of figured out who it was. So it wasn't really technically like a surprise shock when you find out stuff in this book. Um, but just interesting way of telling it for sure. So, um, I forgot to share some quotes here that I do like. Um, so here, the first one being, Money changes people the same way death does. If you don't know what to manage every aspect of it, it'll, it'll bring out the worst in you. Um, and then the second quote is, anger is easy. It's the most rudimentary of human feelings. Babies experience anger. Psychopaths experience anger. People with little to no brain activity experience anger, but compassion and forgiveness are challenging. They are the most complex of all emotions. So I uh, love these two quotes resonated with me because it's so important um, how we define success, right? And as long as that success doesn't um, interfere with other things in our lives right we don't neglect other things in our lives and then with the whole like anger um quote here easier said than done right easier said than done but it's always good to read 
like reminders of what we should do when we feel a certain way. Um, and I am definitely a firm believer in trying to um, forgive people and um, trying to find compassion where possible. Definitely two hard things to do. Okay, so final thoughts on the book here. I'm going to give it a three because of the two dislikes that I mentioned, how um, I felt like there wasn't enough of like murders happening in this book. And then two, I was able to kind of figure out you know, the, the guilty bolt in this book. So that's why I'm going to give it a three. Would love to know what you think. Did you like this book? Didn't you like this book? Who's your favorite character? Please comment, share, and subscribe. Happy reading.